just got paged. Finally, the video you've all been waiting for, a front row virtual ticket to our Sparkle Rodeo Runway Show. Spring 2020 is about to debut in five minutes. And in this video, I wanted to give you a quick personal tour of what you can expect from this season and of course, all the behind the scenes action of this sparkly event. Okay, so as you can see, we're still setting up everything. Right now, the chairs are in place. We've got our lighting and equipment, all testing everything. We're moments away from our rehearsal where all the models are gonna walk through and make sure the timing is perfect for the music. Over here, we have our photo booth because you've gotta make memories. This is a fun backdrop with all of our fabulous sponsors. Speaking of which, we also have a pop-up makeup shop thanks to our cosmetic sponsor, Tarte, where you can come over here and add a little sparkle topper or a little under lid glow, all the things. And then, of course, we can't have couture without cocktails. So our cocktail bar, these drinks are not gonna drink themselves, people. But of course, it wouldn't be a party without a party bag. So our swag this evening includes a fabulous tote and a nice on-theme succulent, courtesy of our Western Chic theme and our rhinestone cowboy aesthetic. There's also, oh wait, there's also, there are also some fabulous little knickknacks from our sponsors. Hello, Tarte Cosmetics, thank you very much. Can't leave empty handed. As you can see over here, we're starting our walkthrough with our check-in. Let's give a round of applause for the check-in. <laughs> We have dresses all lined up by model and by look. Then back here is where all hair and makeup is going down. We really do have a lot of moving parts back here, although it looks all sparkly and fabulous in the front. The back is where it's all gritty. Things are getting down and dirty. <laughs> there is a method to the madness. We have hair and makeup in one area. We have the dressing as its own separate area and then accessories over here. So let me show you some of the accessories and what we're working with tonight. So Blush by Haley Page is opening the Haley Page segment of the show and we are showcasing some Epona Valley fabulous chains and accessories. These, hello, yes, we're gonna need those. Little baby guitars for the rhythm of the collection. And we have lightning bolts, stars, love pins. It's all good stuff. And over here, oh, what is this you ask? Not my first rodeo. That has double meaning, you see. <laughs> and then, last but not least, this season, so excited, we did a collaborative, creative project with Eugenia Kim Hats. And this has been such a fabulous project. We really wanted to obviously play up the theme a bit, but create an entirely new landscape to rock your wedding dress and feel like you can add in some contemporary fashion and still keep it chic. This is actually one of my favorite pieces here. We took this from an embroidery of a dress, slapped it on, thank you very much, and I'm ready to go. But these fabulous tinsels, who are they from? Goddess Glitter Strands. Goddess Glitter Strands, yes. Very important name. <laughs> are you ready for your dress? Yeah. Do you see which one it is? No. Not yet? Okay, we're gonna surprise you later. Oh my gosh! These are good luck clips, I know it, because they're sparkly. Can I shake it? Yeah. Popcorn? Yeah! Is it really? How did I do? Oh my god, I got popcorn? What? This is the coolest popcorn ever! Thank you so much. I have to do that. So sweet. So 
for spring 2020, I wanted to really tell a story. And part of my whole inspiration actually came from getting recently engaged to a beautiful man from Austin, Texas. He comes from a family with strong Southern roots and kind of introduced me to the whole world of country and romance. There is so much of that worked into these pieces. And one of my favorites is an eyelid organza. We're calling this eyelid-eyed organza. And we've been working on it for about a year. It was baked from scratch, first hand-drawn, and then we created a unique repeat and worked on ideal placements so that it could be used not only on a ball gown, but also on a fitted style. This one also has a little bit of a trick up her sleeve because it's a two-in-one. There's an underskirt that goes with this and it creates more of a ball gown shape. But when she's ready for her ring around the dance floor at night, she can take off the underskirt and wear it as a high-low. So it's a fun two-in-one piece. One of the best things about the runway show is the music. It really sets the vibe and this season I pulled from a ton of country music. You're gonna hear some Johnny Cash, you're gonna hear a little bit of Dolly Parton. I really wanted people to feel like they're stepping into this environment, um, but also getting something fresh and feeling like it is, again, telling a story. All right, so we are moments before the show and we have one last thing to cover backstage and that is a meet and greet with some Instagram winners who are brides-to-be and I've invited them to come to the show, have a good time, and see what might fancy their wedding day. And here they are now.